Hey Duff here. You're looking at the front nose of my MSX 100 volt 1860 watt hour electric unicycle made by Gotway. I'm just going to demonstrate how I'm going to wind up attaching the um, bumper slash kickstand that I've been working on originally by Rue Williams within, uh, with cooperation by uh, Mickey from EVX. This is my modification of that original design. So basically what I've done is I have double-sided tape that I've stuck around the light. And for some people that might be enough. You could just, you could just uh, go that way and you, you could be happy with uh, those results. In my case, what I'm gonna do is I'm sticking it on with a double-sided tape, but I've added two um, holes for screws here and here. I'm just backing up to make sure it looks pretty straight and even I think it is because you want to make sure that it's straight and even before you get your drill out for sure okay does that look straight and even to you I think so pretty close okay so what I'm gonna do is get my drill Looks like this should, this is a 332nd. You just basically need something that is a smaller diameter than the, the screw that I am including with this, which is this. So yeah, my, as long as your, your um, drill bit is smaller than that, you're, you're okay. So I got my hole already here. Try to get in the center of it, if at all possible. I think my drill bit's pretty shitty because it didn't feel like it was doing much. It's kind of tricky because the surface that you're drilling into is curved. I think my drill bit sucks. But literally all you need is a little tiny hole that's just enough for this thing to thread into. So let's see if we have any luck here. That doesn't feel very lucky to me. Well, if you take it off, I can see the, the holes a little bit better. So maybe that's a better technique just to mark it. You know, place it on there, mark your holes, and then take it off to finish drilling the holes. Okay, get that side started. Let's get the other side started. And the other reason that I, uh, that I think the double-sided tape under there is good, and, and actually maybe even something a little bit thicker than that, is someone had mentioned that um, it gives you a little bit of additional uh, impact protection. You know, if you have a, a soft material under there, that will help absorb some of the, the bumps. These are just uh, wood screws. Now it feels very securely fastened on there. It's almost, it's like part of the case now. And <laughs> eyeballing that, the damn thing's crooked, son of a bitch. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, so I just tweaked it a little bit. Drilled a secondary hole. It's not perfect. But it is... Uh, much more securely attached so I mean some people might be fine just using double-sided tape or you know a velcro solution to attach it so um, it's up to you but I think uh, I'll roll with this for a while here and see how it goes and um, as I test it more I actually have some of the prototypes that I did that uh, some of them didn't have screw holes some of them the holes weren't aligned as well as I wanted them to be so I have like half a dozen of these things laying around so if you're interested in trying one out let me know and I'll send one to you and uh, you can give me your feedback. And as you can see, it does perform its primary function, which is to be a kickstand. Secondary function, you come off your MSX, nose hits, hits the ground. Hopefully this thing's gonna take the, uh, the initial impact and sacrifice itself in order to keep your case underneath uh, more or less intact. So I don't feel like testing that myself, but that could be a possible secondary benefit.